Hello, right now I am with uh, Sri Rapid Technologies and with me is Mr. Jivitesh Vadwa. Uh, Mr. Uh, Vadwa is a marketing manager for Sri Rapid Technologies. Mr. Vadwa, uh, welcome to Modern Plastics TV. Can you tell what does Sri Rapid Technology does, sir? So we are a company uh, who is uh, a, you know, a company that started off in 2007 uh, by our two partners uh, who are uh, Mr. Nitin uh, Chaudhary and Mr. Shashidhar Kumar. The company started off with a team of say 15 people and today we are a team of 90 uh, providing technologies uh, which are end-to-end -end solutions in the digital manufacturing. So as you know, uh, we call ourselves the largest uh, company in the digital manufacturing space in India today, providing technologies from 3D scanning, uh, designing, 3D printing, inspection and post-processing. So yeah, uh, Shri Rapid Technologies has been there in the industry from 2007 and today we represent around 17 brands. Uh, the brands that we represent are uh, 3D Systems, Form Labs, uh, Zayas, GOM, and the other ones you can see over here on the screen that we have. All of them having a specific technology and uh, showcasing different aspects of digital manufacturing or additive manufacturing as we know it. The company is spread over the nation with uh, offices in uh, Bangalore, Delhi and our head office in Mumbai. Uh, we have our uh, customer innovation center situated in Mumbai uh, which uh, hosts all these technologies and uh, anyone interested can come and experience these technologies first hand over there. Uh, when we talk about the 3D printing technologies, we have uh, the figure 4 standalone on display over here and we have the form 3L from Form Labs on display. These technologies are the top end of uh, 3D printing technologies in the plastic industry. And for more details, I will hand over the mic to my colleague Nazim who will take you forward and we have Pratik who is our application head and he will give you more details on the technical aspects of the technologies. Uh, as a sales, uh, I took care of uh, Mumbai, Goa and Nasik. <coughs> so in, in terms of growth and development of 3D printings, uh, we are uh, more into jewelry and dentals and we are also coming up with automobiles, consumers, uh, goods and electronics and packagings, even for pharma industries. So we are into almost uh, all industries and we are growing up and we are selling the printers, uh, scanners and uh, other machines all over India. Uh, hi, I am Pratik. I am an application engineer at SRT. So I help customer in the pre-sale support basically. So uh, we have customer inquiries uh, ranging from prototyping to functional prototypes and end use parts and even tooling. So we have range of machines uh, which uh, cater to those kind of applications and I help them basically. Now coming to you Mr. Vadwa, since you are the marketing manager, what kind of growth you have seen for the 3D printers in India and applications that people are uh, plan to use in the future? Sir? So the growth has been tremendous. Uh, where we didn't know about 3D printing about a decade back. Today, 3D printers are used in every manufacturing unit. And uh, with the advancements in the technology, we have seen that you know every company wants to keep one 3D printer or more in various aspects. So whether it may be plastic or metal, we have all the technologies that can be provided to you know our clients. Coming to you, Mr. Najim, uh, you have been the senior sales manager. Uh, now, Mr. Vadwa may have mentioned a decade back, people didn't know about uh, 3D printing. Now, 
especially the mold makers since uh, you are the sales manager moving around the market itself mold makers and lot of other applications have been seeing this growth but how do you see the growth in the future especially starting with small 3d printers where uh, i have heard people saying that there will be a time when people there will be printers you know very very cheap where people can use it at their as their house what what is your future uh, thought about this 3d uh, printers growing in india so uh, in terms of industries uh, if you consider molds as an industry so uh, we are unable to educate uh, the industry we are unable to educate the industry that's why it is not using uh, as per our respective sense but if we edu- educate them then uh, there may be tremendous growth in this mold industries also so we have uh, developed yeah we have advanced materials which can cater them <coughs> Uh, for their uh, mold validation yeah for their prototyping so in few years i think uh, we can have uh, cover all this industries also since you are the application engineer just like to understand ai is catching up worldwide metaverse ai how do you see ai being used in the 3d uh, printer segment uh, uh which all application if you think about which all applications can be it used like there are range of applications i mean uh, earlier 3d printing was called rapid prototyping you know it was used mainly for prototyping some parts any product which is under development but now uh, people are utilizing 3d printing technology you know for the end use applications so you know even in robotics or uh, uh, tooling so and as an example i can show you a simple tool right there yeah it is basically a, a mold which was 3d printed with core and cavity and later on injected with the uh, plastic so uh, earlier this was used uh, this was you know uh, cut using a metal tool yeah so the mold itself is a plastic you know which was 3d printed and uh, in that you injected another plastic with a lower melting temperature and that's uh, what what is the application basically so this is just one of the applications i mean uh, just prototyping so you can make and use parts you can use it for tooling so that is certainly going to help uh, not only ai industry but a uh, lot many other industries basically standing in front of uh, the figure four stand alone printer from 3d systems so this uh, machine is based on a dlp technology uh, which is uh, basically project projection based technology and uh, the applications of this machine range from you know basic prototyping to uh, making end use parts and here you can see a part printed part you can see you know uh, two designs which are been printed in a stacked position so you can build uh, many such parts and one main uh, unique feature of this printer is this uh, is that it is uh, quite fast compared to other technologies so this uh, printed part which you see here it was printed in 2 hours and no other technology does that uh, you know uh, has that kind of speed you can see this what is this part uh is just a you know uh, a plastic part you know which is used for end use application for automotive what you just mentioned about the material what kind of material this is basically a thermoset resin which simulates the properties of a thermoplastic so uh, we have range of materials here uh from uh, soft elastomeric uh, flexible materials to rigid plastic you can see uh, some of the some of the samples kept here so
So we have range of uh, materials available with uh, 3D systems uh, in uh, particularly in this printer. So Adwa, this you have been the marketing manager for this company, but how do you see that uh, the future? I see some of the 3D printers uh, exhibited here. But how do you see this growth, especially now after people coming to this exhibition, some plastic exhibition, people have tried to understand what 3D printing is. But the uh, most of this uh, system presented here, exhibited, are all, I mean, uh, imported one. How do you see the 3D printer, especially 3D printing in India, the market, sir? So, like I mentioned, the market is growing right now. Uh, with the continuous advancements and the technologies coming in, uh, there are multiple institutes that have actually started uh, giving out courses for 3D printing as well. And uh, as a company, we have always focused on educating our uh, clients and the audience on how 3D printing works and how uh, 3D printing can benefit in various aspects, uh, namely you know, reducing the supply chain, uh, improving the cost for manufacturing, reducing time to market. So yeah, 3D printers are catching up in a great way. Uh, it all depends on the application that the person wants and uh, how you know he wants to invest. There are 3D printers which uh, you know are cheaper uh, or you know which are uh, not of the brands that we uh, supply. But the uh, but we can always vouch for the brands that we have, as these are all international brands. But they provide you the quality and the uh, fineness which no other brand can give you. So yeah, three D printing is the future, and that's how you know we are promoting it. One second, last question. You mentioned about educating. So there was a time when uh, schools did not under understand compute what computers were. Because to hire to have one computer also one PC at school, it was very expensive. But after that, gradually everything became cheap, and school school started giving education to computers starting from third, fourth, fifth standard itself. Do you think in coming uh, days, in coming years, there will be a time when schools will be starting uh, to promote educating about 3D printers for the children in India, sir, in, in Indian schools? Yes, definitely. In fact, that uh, time is not too far. Uh, we see our uh, you know, institutes, the technical institutes, uh, like the IITs of the world, uh, many other engineering colleges who have already started incorporating uh, 3D printers in their curriculum and they have already started uh, uh, installing 3D printers in their own facility to educate people and to, you know, uh, to educate the students over there. And it's not too far where uh, you know this will trickle down to the lower uh, categories or the lower grades as well, because 3D printing is something that uh, you know is something that is changing the world today. So, like you mentioned, initially the computers were too big and could not be affordable, uh, you know, with their uh, kind of uh, 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 technology, uh, which was difficult to understand. But today, even a 10-year-old wants uh, a computer and uh, in fact schools are promoting education through computers after the covid wave so yeah uh, like the uh, 3d printer that you see uh, on our right this is the form 3l and uh, it is a large format desktop 3d printer so today we can say that this printer can be kept in a school on a desktop and any teacher or any person who wants to educate a child with the, you know, uh, say the biological parts of body or probably a topic in aerospace or probably a topic in medical, they can easily print it on this printer and showcase the actual prototype of the part that they want to talk about. And that is happening and that is, you know, something that many schools are actually discussing to take up and start uh, introducing 3D printing to their original curriculum right now. Now coming to the exhibiting exhibition part, you have uh, already displayed two or three machines here. Sir, seeing this, what is the overall response today, the third day? Almost the day is over now. How is the uh, response at your stall, sir? 
the response has been good we've got some good leads we've got some uh, interesting clients uh, who have not only shown interest in 3d printing but also have uh, you know ex uh, told us their applications and we would like to now get into that and showcase that how 3d printing can help them in their specific applications so yeah we are looking at uh, you know generating a good uh, you know year to come and we are looking at uh, you know coming back to this expo next year yes definitely uh, with this kind of uh, application available here in india now not very hard Pre uh, previously it was uh, very hard to import this kind of machines and now after this machines coming to india there are uh, companies who are selling this machines in india and uh, i think in the coming years 3d printing will definitely catch up in india in, in the coming future hello sir mera naam sajal choudhary hai aur main 3d scanner division handle karta hu aur hamare paas jo machine hai handheld machine hai aur ek tripod based machine hai jo hum log inspection ke liye or most of the oem companies hai jo इंस्पेक्शन के लिए यूज करते हैं और साथ में रिवर्स इंजीनियरिंग करना है अगर आपके पास कोई एग्जिस्टिंग पार्ट है उसको आपको वापिस से रीमॉडल करना है तो हम ये स्कैनर कंपनी यूज करती है जैसे कि ये जो मशीन है टी स्कैन हॉक ये ये मशीन के हेल्प से हम लोग टू मीटर थ्री मीटर फाइव मीटर पार्ट तक हम लोग स्कैन कर सकते हैं और ये मशीन की एक्यूरेसी है फिफ्टी माइक्रोन और ये जो मशीन है गोम स्कैन वन ये मशीन की एक्यूरेसी है सेवन माइक्रोन से लेकर ट्वेंटी माइक्रोन तक ये मशीन से भी हम लोग वन मीटर 1.5 मीटर तक हम लोग स्कैन कर सकते हैं और ये देखिए सर ये जो पार्ट है छोटा सा गेम कंट्रोलर पार्ट है ये पार्ट को मैंने ऑलरेडी स्कैन किया हुआ है जो यहाँ पे आपको पूरा एक रेप्लिका दिखेगा यहाँ पे ये स्कैनर का ये स्कैन डाटा के हेल्प से हम लोग पार्ट के इंस्पेक्शन कर सकते हैं और रिवर्स इंजीनियरिंग भी कर सकते हैं थैंक यू फॉर योर टीम फॉर मॉडर्न प्लास्टिक्स इंडिया This is Anthony Jo signing up for Modern Plus 6 TV at 12 Daimold exhibition organized by Tagma Mumbai